Welcome to Fret Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series we're doing on custom-made guitars. We're doing 10 guitars. Uh, we have purchased these 10 guitars from luthiers around the globe that we feel like that maybe a lot of people don't know about, maybe the masses don't know about. And the purpose of this series, this particular series, is to kind of show you the ins and outs, what happens when you order a custom guitar and you just take your money and send it somewhere. And Yeah, hope so, to get something. Right, right. So in this issue, well, this is number eight, episode eight. We have 10. Then we're going to move on to a different type of series, different style of guitar, or maybe not style, but definitely price point. Mm -hmm. um, this is an Ormsby factory standard hype machine from Australia. What do you think about it? It's beautiful. And of course, I love green. Yeah. And uh, this one hits a lot of the marks for me. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, so this one is a seven string multi scale. And Armsby is a little different than a lot of people that do multi scale. Their multi scale runs from 25.5 to 27.8. So it's over two inches difference between uh, this. E string and this B string mm -hmm. on the difference. So what that gets you, some people don't really do the fan frets and don't understand it. And it's, it does take a little bit to get used to, but once okay. you get used to it, mm -hmm. it's great. Um, but what it allows you to do that you won't find on other guitars, this is in drop a tuning and that's a 46. So because of that extended scale, we don't have to just go up to 60s, 66s, whatever you got to go to right. on, on your seven string 70s or whatever to get into low tuning to have enough tension. Mm -hmm. So to me, that is the science of this guitar. And they did a really good job on the science. I did. How do you feel about it? Um, as far as playability goes, I mean, it's... It's a little different because of the, the multi-scale, mm -hmm. you know, the fan frets. Um, and so, like you were saying just a minute ago, it takes a little bit to get used to. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little strange, especially uh, when palm muting. That feels a little different. It does. It is um, a little different. But like you said, as soon as you, you know, just play on it, take a day or two and just play on it. Don't touch any other guitar. Um, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice to play on. So this particular guitar, so the, the purpose of this review, obviously, is to kind of give you a little bit of feedback on what has to happen whenever you take your money and send it out as opposed to going to a store and putting your hands on a guitar. Um, this particular guitar, we're going to tell you everything about that process. We're going to tell you the specs on the guitar. Then we're going to let you hear it in a mix to kind of hear how the guitar sounds, if you like it. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about price point, what it takes to get it, um, what we feel like their QC is like, um, their customer care, mm -hmm. blase, blase, just to kind of give you, try to take some of that fear away from just sending money out somewhere and hoping something good comes back. Yeah. So on this guitar, it is a seven string and it is a multi scale. And I told you that this side of the bridge is at 27, eight, this side's at 25, five, because this is a factory standard, we weren't able to really change any of the stuff on it because it was already a built guitar um but this locking i mean this bridge back here is um built by ormsby it's an ormsby piece of material and so are the tuners but they are locking tuners so they build their own now i've seen these obviously you could spend a whole lot on these when you customize them they'll put anything you want on them but ormsby's gear seems to be really good mm -hmm. at least you know, mid to higher level. It's yeah. not, it's not garbage. It's, no. it's really good gear. Um, the pickups in this, I don't, can I, anyway, so this bridge <laughs> is a Concordia and I forget what, I mean, excuse me, the neck is a Concordia and the bridge is something else. And I can't remember, but it's a blizzard. That's a blizzard. blizzard. And I listened to a, quite a few of their pickups, and um, they had another one on a different guitar, and they were, I think they're called Hot Rod Pickups. Mm -hmm. Really good, but to me, they're more of a classic sound and rock, you yeah. know? These are not. No. These are mean. They're yeah. modern. They're yeah. heavy. They got some aggression to them. Yes. Um, so you're going to have a roasted maple neck. Uh, the fretwork on this thing is amazing. 
I say it every time on every one of these guitars. Yeah. And listen, if you've been a patron of this, if, if you're watch us, you probably get sick and tired of me saying it's amazing. But you got to understand, we're talking about guitars that are anywhere from $2,500 to $5,000 yeah. for each guitar. So what I hope you understand if you if you come back or if you're here for the first time is that just because I say every guitar is amazing, I'm not riding their coattails, but at this price point, it better be amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You better not get these guitars and go, ah, eh, we got a sprout fret over here. Or, you know, it's cutting my hand when I go down the neck or they're not polished. Yeah, I had to send it back for some sort of reason. Yeah, so not like that. Yeah. So I hate to just keep saying they're amazing, but the fret work on this, along with everything else we reviewed, is amazing. Now our next series, there's gonna be a lot of room for a lot of bad cons. <laughs> <laughs> not so much in this series. So you've got a roasted maple neck, you have uh glow in the dark side dots. Uh, I think we have a Z pattern. Yeah, we got the Z pattern on the inlays, and I believe they're mother of pearl. Um it's got a tone and a volume switch on it and i guess if there's something to complain about and i don't know if it's complain worthy but i was not ever wild about how they put the three-way switch in between the two knobs i'm sure they have some sort of logic behind it but Maybe. it escapes me or it could just be that's its home <laughs> i guess it could be so you have a swamp ash body we chose to get the one that's in a stain. Now, here's something about Ormsby. If you don't know anything about this company, they do full-off customs. That's where their bread and butter come from. This is a factory standard. In other words, in between customs, they're building guitars, and they just configure them the way they want to configure them, and they sell them as a factory standard, which is a custom guitar. And then they build something. I think it's called the G GT or GTR line. And those are actually built overseas in maybe Indonesia, Korea. I'm not really sure where. They're much less expensive in these. And I've listened to 20 people review them. And not a single person has said a single thing bad about those guitars. I just didn't feel like it was right for me or for this channel to order one of the built-in-a-factory guitars, you know, on, a, on an assembly line. I would... The only way I would have included Ormsby is if we custom ordered one mm -hmm. or if we got a factory standard where they build it in Perth. I believe it's in Perth. It's where they are. So all in all, uh, the features on this guitar is amazing. It does take a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're doing stuff right here. and You're not mm -hmm. used to that fan being so <laughs> pronounced right there. You get a couple frets off that. It plays like a dream. Um, it's a seven string, so it has a, a wide neck or mm -hmm. wider than you would get with a six, but the, it's a modern D, I believe is what they call it on the, the shape of the neck. It's very thin. It's very sleek. Um, the neck is roasted maple and the fretboard is wingate. Nice. Yeah. yeah that plays really All good, in all, neck. man, it's a spectacular guitar. We're going to get into price on it. Um, we're going to tell you everything it took to get it. And then we're going to kind of give you our thoughts over what we feel like the money and the time and the effort and, you know, was it worth it? Just how they responded to us, different things like that. Mm -hmm. So you have been gravitating towards that guitar for quite a bit now since we've had it. Yeah. So. I know when you first started playing it, you said it took a little bit of getting used to. You got to kind of mm -hmm. turn that palm to get that palm mute right. Yeah, it's but a little it, little different. Um, I'm still getting used to it, you know, because I've I've been playing a certain way for so long, and I've you know never really messed with the multi scale or any time I've gone to look for guitars, it's not really something that you just see on the shelf. I don't know because right. maybe it's just going to sit there. Or I don't know, but for whatever reason. I haven't had a lot of experience on multi scale. Well, now I've had, I've dipped my toes into the multi scale water. <laughs> and uh, I'm learning that it's a little different. You know, you typically, I typically, you know, keep your hand a certain way up against the bridge when you're playing. If you're wanting to palm mute this, you know, your, your strings are ending in a slant. And so you kind of have to, you kind of have to cater to that slant a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you do. Because if you tried to do a palm mute and you was muting across all strings and mm -hmm. you went straight down, the strings are going to sound different because yeah. you're at different places on the string with your palm mute. Yep. 
There's little bitty tiny things like that. I have also seen people, not this company, but I've seen people buy se seven string multi scales and sell them in a week. Yeah. And just go, that's too weird. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that way. I, it took me a long time to buy one. But once I bought it, I literally played it for five minutes and I went, yeah, this is good. This yeah. is a this is a smart way of doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so all in all, uh, the guitar plays amazing. It sounds even better. Um, we got it at a good price point for a factory standard. We got it at a really good price point. You can pick these guitars up made on a factory, and I, I believe it's Indonesia. I'm not sure where they build them at. Uh, it's either Indonesia or Korea. Um, they're about half this guitar's price. <coughs> but from what I understand, you don't get these pickups. You get a different variety because it's a, the price point's a lot lower. Um, I heard these on a couple of reviews, these pickups and different guitars. And I was like, yeah, whatever we yeah. get, it's got to have that blizzard in it. Yeah, they sound really good. They got uh, a good growl to them. They're a good growl. They're a very good modern sound. Uh, this guitar cleans up really well. And because the 46 is up here, when you're playing these strings, I mean, they have full tension mm -hmm. and you can bend that string two or three strings down. No problem. Cause it's not a big string. Yeah. It's, it's made for speed. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot on this guitar. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to shut up, and we're going to let you hear this guitar in the mix, and then we're going to get you to come back, and when you come back, we're going to talk about everything about the guitar and just let you know our thoughts on it, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So now you got a chance to hear it in the mix. Mm -hmm. How do you, I mean, tell me your thoughts. You're the one playing it the most. I mean, again, it's it's different. Um, not really the frets so much. It's still, it's it's getting used to that that bridge placement. I do a okay. lot of palm muting in, in my style of playing, and that was the first thing I noticed. And so, but that aside, it's something that I'm easily um, learning to overcome. Okay, cool. All right, so we've told you all about the specs of this guitar. We've told you who makes it, where it's from. You've got a chance to hear it. So we're going to talk about the overall process. Uh, we bought 10 guitars. When we started this channel, we bought 10 guitars, and we had to have those guitars quick to get these videos out. So two of those guitars, we were fortunate enough, <coughs> excuse me, that I have a, uh, a internet acquaintance that works for Palin Music, and at the time of us ordering, they were an authorized dealer for this company, and they had just got this one and a different color one in straight from Ormsby. So, in a as a, to not have to go through the whole Australia thing, and I think Australia. There's probably extra fees and stuff to get stuff shipped out They're of Australia. I'm, I don't know yet, but we that's the one company we haven't physically purchased from yet. So in order to kind of combat that and be to get it here in time to do this show with it, we just ordered this one from uh, Palin. They had it in stock. If you don't know who they are, they're a huge music store. Um, I believe all of their... Maybe all of their stores are in Missouri. I don't know if they're all there or not, but they're they're very large on the internet. 
They have a ton of really good high-end guitars. Um, they do have, you know, factory guitars, obviously from the big builders, but they do get multiple different companies that send them guitars. And a lot of times you can just find stuff on their site, brand new, you know, mm -hmm. and because they get it in bulk, you're not really, you're not paying all that extra charge to get it sent to America. You're not going through customs. You're not doing right. any of that weird stuff. So it's a win-win for us. Mm -hmm. um, I think this guitar sells for between three and 3,200, somewhere in that area on Ormsby site. You do have to, um, I don't know if you physically order it from them, but if you pick that guitar, then maybe it sends you somewhere where they've already shipped the guitar or something. I'm not sure. But we picked this guitar up for about 2,800 bucks shipped to the door. Um, and we've bought a lot of stuff and we've paid a lot of different prices for a lot of different things. And I still feel like this is one of the better buys for what we paid for it. Yeah. Um, it is one of the most versatile guitars. Now, if you just play modern music and you just want to play aggressive everything, this is a guitar for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a little bit of that and some you know, rock stuff, this is a guitar for you. If you want to do stuff, nothing like that, this is a guitar for you. <laughs> this guitar does everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very well set up. Um, I had a little, I was a little worried about ordering a, a seven string multi scale, especially to do a review on it because I haven't played but a couple and they were garbage. They were very low end and the necks weren't right. It didn't feel right. It just felt awkward playing it. This thing is a breeze. Mm -hmm. If you ever put your hands on one of these, and you ever play it for a couple of minutes, you'll know what all the hype is about yeah. on these guitars. Um, very well crafted guitar. The um, quality control on this is impeccable. Everything is perfect. We couldn't find a mark, scratch, anything out of alignment. We checked the frets, the neck. Everything on this guitar is really good. So we paid about twenty eight hundred for it. We got lucky and didn't have to do the customs things. Um, we did speak to Ormsby directly or to a salesperson because we were looking at purchasing a different one. They were very fast, very friendly, eager to get our business to help us out. Um, and like I said, we ended up getting it from Palin. So I'm going to give their customer service, you know, top notch because they didn't give us any flack about doing anything. I really can't. Um, if I rate anybody, it has to be, you know, Palin because that's where we got the guitar from. So all in all, on this guitar, man, I feel like uh, it's built extremely well. I think it's priced right. Yeah. I think the appointments on it, and that doesn't have hip shot on it, pissed me off. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I love hip shot. But hip shot is nice, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. No. We have tried every way to Sunday to you know mess up tuning to do everything we could. Uh, like I said, the the flexibility of that guitar because it's got those little strings is just amazing, and it makes it fun to mm -hmm. play. It just makes it fun. Um, what's your overall thoughts? What Let's say we sent, we got together and we got 2800 bucks and we called Orange. We, hey, ship us a guitar. Make it green. That's what showed up. I would love it. I just, I mean, even if it wasn't green, even though that's my favorite <laughs> color, I love the way it plays. Um, I like just, I, I have another just stained guitar myself and I like all the different kind of crazy finishes, sure, but there's something about just a nice classic kind of stained guitar that I just I love. And I and that's what I like about this one. I like being able to see the wood grain. We've got some other ones where we can see the wood grain as mm -hmm. well, but um it's I don't know. I just I like this one a lot. I like even the uh the input for it. You know, that's different. That is different it's and different. it's really cool. And I'll tell you what's even that. cooler, it's perfectly fine with a straight plug, mm -hmm. but it's way better with a 45 degree plug. Yeah. If you have an angled plug, uh that clips in there and it's just completely out your way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect anything. Yeah, I could see that being really nice. You know, yeah, if you're standing up playing, yep. you've got your strap, you feed your cord in, and it's yep. just everything's at such a nice angle. You know? It is. Um, this one is a single piece of Swamp Ash. If you remember, in episode one, we had the Hapus, and it was a single piece of ash. Now, that ash is way heavier oh, yeah. than Swamp Ash. Mm -hmm. Swamp Ash is very light, but it gives really good tonal resonance, and I don't want to say gent vibes, 
but it kind to me the difference between ash and swamp ash is if you're listening to a record and you think oh that sounds kind of jenny or whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean that's kind of what this wood sounds like to a me little bit, yeah it? it's just got more of a crispness to, and a bite mm-hmm. as there's a warmth but not as much like on mahogany you know what i mean yeah i feel like it just resonates the tone yeah, really it well it really does it really does so would we spend the money again knowing what we know yes yes absolutely yes. if you no doubt about it now this company is famous for fan frets multi scales there's a few and i mean a few guitars that they build that aren't um to me, it was just kind of dumb if I was ordering an Ormsby and 85% or 90% of everything they build is fan fret, and I get the one thing that they don't really specialize in. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You see what the, all the hype's about. You right. Know? So we had to get that. Now, we told you about this company. This company uh, also builds something called a GTR range, and it is these identical guitars, but they're built in a factory on a on a conveyor line, you know, sort of like any other Gibson Fender, whatever. They're built in those same type of factories. I've um, said I've watched 20 reviews and every single person, and these are way more authoritative people in the guitar industry than we are, and every one of them love those GTRs. I just didn't feel like it was right to substitute a GTR in a, you know, a higher end. But hey, for like anywhere from twelve to seventeen hundred dollars, you can get one of these, uh, and you can buy these at a multitude of stores around the country. Um, and people love them, man. Yeah, if you could, if you could get your hands on one for that price, you know, if you're again wanting to dip your toes in the Ormsby water, right? I would do it. Every one of them, and I, I believe the majority of those reviewers that have done the GTR reviews own Ormsby's like this one, and every one of them are like, buy it, just buy it. Mm-hmm. It's good. So we've taken you through a lot of roller coasters on these first eight episodes. You've seen a lot of different stuff. We're going to do a quick video one day and just a short, short video, just a 30 seconds on each guitar to kind of refresh you. And then we're going to move on to a different series. And our next series, I think we solidified it, whether you know it or not, (laughs) I think we're going to do entry level, you know, metal. Yeah. We're going to do, say you had never played guitar, but you listened to Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. You don't want to play Little Red Riding Hood. No. You don't want to play on a single coil, P90s, fake P90s. When you learn to play, you want it to sound like who you want it to play. So mm-hmm. that's what our next series is going to be. As soon as we get through with the 10 on these, we're going to do entry level. I'm not sure 100% how many we're going to do, maybe six or seven. But if you've been watching the channel, you already know what I'm about to say. Um, when we start that series, we're hoping to have a few more subscribers. Click the like button, subscribe, share videos. Anyway, and if we do, then we're going to start giving away some of those guitars. And you'll just be able to watch the channel. We're not going to ask for your firstborn. But we just want our people that actually watch our watch our show to be involved because we want to try to give back to you guys. Mm-hmm. So um, that is what's in the plans. We are going to be giving stuff away. Are you going to get one of these first 10? Maybe not for a while. You better have a lot of cousins that can click that like and, and share and, and subscribe uh, yeah. if we're going to give those away. But what we're going to try to do is put some guitars in some hands of people. Maybe otherwise they wouldn't have been able to get it. Yeah. That's the important part. Mm-hmm. So back to the Ormsby. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, would be happy to send these people money blind and say, build me something. That's the quality of this guitar. Um there's really not too many companies over there, if any, on the ones we've already reviewed that I would not that I would be scared to do that with because they all build amazing guitars. They're all just a little bit different. Mm-hmm. When you go to the Guitar Center, you can play 12. And you can go, I really like the way that one plays, but don't sound right. I, I like the way this one sounds. Yeah. And, you know, you can kind of, on this type of thing, you can't. Yeah, it's kind of, we, I kind of related it a couple of videos ago to, you know, cars. Yes. You can go and test drive a car. You can go to Guitar Center and test drive some guitars, and you you get 
you get that that luxury of doing that before yes. you buy it. Yeah, you know, and you don't you you have to put a lot of trust out there with something like this. So here's the deal: no matter who you are, what age you are, if you're watching this video, you can research this stuff. It mm -hmm. ain't rocket science. Um, take some time, man. Pull up reviews, watch videos, find people that have already bought these. People will tell you the truth if they spent their money. Mm -hmm. Now, if they got a guitar sent to them, that's kind of up in there. Whether they're going to tell you the truth or not, I ain't ragging on nobody. I don't care. It ain't my business. But if somebody caught, I get on the video and they go, hey, so-and-so sent us this guitar. We're going to review it. I'm like, yeah, that review probably doesn't hold as much water. Yeah. Every guitar on this show moving forward is bought by this show. We pay for everything. We don't get discounts. We don't ask for nothing because we want to buy it like you would. Even mm -hmm. if it's a one-time purchase for you, and we might purchase a few, if it's a once-in-a-lifetime, or if you have 50, we want to be you, and we want you to see what happens to us when we buy it, so maybe it'll help you make a decision if you decide to buy exactly. it. Exactly. So all in all, love the guitar, like the videos, watch the channel, subscribe, share, uh, get one of them little spinny signs and go stand out <laughs> on the corner. It says fret not at fret not one. Yeah. Do something, man. Get us some more people in here. And if we do that, we're going to start giving away a lot of stuff. It is really I, nice. I, it, yeah. I, we've pointed out other, uh, the panels on, on previous guitars and, you know, a lot of the, the, um, the brands, they have their logo right there. And that's yep. how I just wanted to point out this one. That's how they did theirs. It's kind of like it's engraved. And it's got a outline of Australia. Yeah, land down under. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the channel, subscribe, share the videos, stay tuned, and watch us because things are changing. We did do 10 of these custom guitars. We're on, this is number eight. We got two more, and you're going to be really impressed by them, I promise you. Uh, but when that finishes, we're moving on to the next one, and we're going to start giving stuff away. So... I guess. Did you like and subscribe yet? <laughs> Have you shared the video yet? Do some of that. Yeah, just a little bit. Until next time. Stay tuned.